My name is Sarah Schlomer and I live with SPS and EDS and I've been making videos because I want your life to be better than what I have been through. Um, I have plenty of advice because I've been living this roller coaster for quite a while. Um, I've made it to 36 years of age and I've been given IVIG um, five times now. Um, now, I have been seeking after this medication because for me, it was a miracle drug. Um, absolutely, it stopped my face from twitching. I, I was having so many spasms that I, I actually have a cracked skull that has healed back together, but my husband has to pick me up by my head to realign my neck and my skull. Um, SPS has done this to me. When your muscles pull so tight, they absolutely can break bones. So when I finally was given the okay for IVIG, I went for it. And um, getting plasma has just absolutely changed my life. It's it's made a lot of things possible. Um, I'm cooking, I'm cleaning, I'm actually able to work out. I came back from starvation. Um, <laughs> I, I'm extremely happy. Um, but what I didn't know and what I need you to know is that there are side effects and that IVIG can be messed around with. I didn't know that depression is a side effect. So what I went through in the last four weeks was hell, basically. Um, I was feeling like I was being electrocuted. Um, I was constantly having to deal with spasms and I was I was shaking and just just twitching it never stopped to the point that I stopped being able to sleep um, when that happened my emotions started to just become uncontrollable I I was depressed I was severely depressed and I wanted to die. I couldn't handle being electrocuted the way I was. And I, I just couldn't handle the paralysis in which I was dealing with on the left side of my body. Um, and I was afraid to say anything to my neurologist because I don't want to go back to having the major attacks. I can't go back to the hospital because they don't know what to do with me. It requires so many sedatives to calm my body down. The stiff person syndrome is not messing around with me. Um, so there was a great amount of fear and actually opening up with my doctor, which you should never have that. Um, if you at all start feeling depressed, if you at all start feeling like you're being electrocuted or you can't quit twitching, you can't quit moving, your mind won't settle, these are side effects that you need to talk to your neurologist about. It's not just a, a psychological thing that you can go to your your therapist about and say, "Look, I'm depressed. I, half of my body isn't working." I, no, this is this is a real thing. It's it literally is something that can be fixed, worked around with, if you just set up um, set up some sort of a 
a line of communication for when you can't communicate. So this means talking to someone who is around you frequently and when they start to see signs of depression or you're shaking too much to be able to talk on the phone. Um, you can't pick up anything without dropping it. This is when if you can't reach out to your doctor, you need to have someone reach out for you. So um, I am quite literally making this because I do not want somebody to search out help just to wind up killing themselves. That's not that's not the purpose of any of this. I'm not recommending, uh, I don't want to recommend a medication that could kill you. And I know that not every medication works the same for everybody. And that is why I'm making this video saying, if you are feeling depressed, don't just reach out to your therapist or your psychologist reach out to your neurologist too. The stiff person syndrome is nothing to mess around with. Um, EDS, um, that harbors a lot of comorbid syndromes when it comes to the brain. You have myesthesia gravis that also will affect your brain and you will need IVIG for um, there's, there's just so many things out there where if you need your plasma exchanged, you're not going to expect depression from it. So that's why I'm making this. I, I always want to put love out into the world. I want people to have a better life than what I have. I don't want stiff person syndrome or Ehlers-Danlos to even exist, but because it does, I want to help. So please heed my advice. Know that this is in love and just please hold on, even if you're, if you're on a roller coaster like what I've been on you got you got to think of the good things that are still out there the things you haven't felt even if you're feeling nothing but electricity and you want it to stop think of the things that you haven't felt think of the people that love you and dear God think of the people that would be so upset if you were gone. So when it comes to side effects and actually being honest with your doctor, please, please do that. Um, other than that, I, I just, I want to say the regular things, diazepam, uh, baclofen, definitely uh, needed. Um, when it comes to Ehlers-Denlos and stiff person syndrome, you're definitely going to need some sort of a pain medication. And with everything, just, just set up, set up some sort of a piece of paper. So how, how do I feel today? And if you find yourself feeling depressed multiple days in a row, please, please seek help. Please seek help. Know that you're not alone and know that you're loved. Know that people care about you. And I just, I really want to thank you for listening to this. I want to thank you for taking any of the advice that you have from any of my other videos. So, I, um, 
I bid you a good life. I really do. Thank you for listening.